ask questions but of course ask questions nicely so there's a way you ask questions right not because you ask questions that you genuinely want to know and of course like you know my hobby has said that it's you know the way you ask the question and it's usually to people that you have relationship yeah. with right you don't just want to go nosy mm, just about everywhere it. and <laughs> be nosy in people's <laughs> life you know yes i think it's, yeah. it's very very important someone you have not greeted for for years yeah. you just heard that the person bought a car and that is the only time you think of calling the person how, yeah. how did you get the money exactly that doesn't so make that, sense exactly but someone you have relationship with you talk you know you have been friends you know then you can ask questions in a polite way anyways yeah. 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 yeah also i think it's also very good because we want to you know be sure that what we are celebrating is genuine yeah right yeah. it's not uh yeah. you know like we said last week you want to celebrate what we truly stand the, the test, test of, of time, time. It is also very important that we shouldn't feel oppressed with the way people celebrate their success, right? Because the truth is, sometimes some people, the best, the best way they know to celebrate the success might look to you as flaunting and bragging. Yeah. Okay. So, well, so that's that's the, so just let's excuse them. That that's the limits to how as to the knowledge, know. <laughs> right? Knowledge and they know on how to celebrate yeah. their success. So, but yeah. if if that's what that person is doing to celebrate their own success don't feel oppressed no you know you, you can't control how someone will celebrate their success but no. you can control how you would react no. No. <laughs> you know to that so yeah. don't feel oppressed uh, because at the end of the day your whole time would come yeah. right now turn by turn <laughs> <laughs> yeah so your whole no your own time would come so yeah. don't don't feel oppressed there's no need to feel oppressed mm. Um, how someone is celebrating yeah. their success. And you never can tell that thing could have cost them everything. Yes. You know, and they want to show the whole world, yeah. you know, that no, God is yet alive, you know. Mm. Oh, of course, yeah. we have made an episode on, you know, why people brag and things yeah. like that. But you never can tell until you know the story. Mm. For example, someone who has been looking for a child for 25 years mm. and the person just you know, God just, just bless that person and you expect the person not to be everywhere. <laughs> it will exactly. take a special grace for the person to, to contain you know, the joy. You know, yes. yeah. Or probably someone who, you know, has been looking to get into school yeah. and you know, the person had had challenges in the university and eventually the person yeah. graduates. Yeah. You know, for yeah. you you had it all easy and you just felt like, well, it's, it's not just a BST, what's yeah. the big deal, right? Oh, was it celebrating? Oh, it's celebrating, yeah. yeah. So don't feel oppressed don't, at all. Don't, yeah. Don't. yeah. What we are saying is you you cannot choose how people will celebrate but you can choose how, how you, you respond yes and you can of course choose how you will celebrate and how you yeah. will respond yeah. But yeah you don't have control on someone yeah. else's <laughs> or yes. you can choose how to react or respond <laughs> and we we encourage you to respond, <laughs> to respond no, yeah. by celebrating with them yes and and of course don't pull anybody down mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. as a reaction to their success mm. because when you are trying to pull them down now it's not a response it's a reaction to their success and mm. i know you mentioned something about you know the people bad mountain other people success but don't pull them down mm. for three reasons there's karma <laughs> yes there's karma what you do for other people will come back to you, you. <laughs> the irony of it is it will be pressed down <laughs> shake it together yeah. and run it over. Run over so be careful yeah. be very very careful you know and uh, another reason why you should not do that to people is that some people have a very strong relationship with god that you cannot afford to mess up with mm. you cannot afford to mess up with i think i will, I will say that something at this point where you know, someone will say i don't like that person like you are just remember you're just one person so the person you're saying that you don't like <laughs> like what, how are you so sure that the feeling is not mutual like the person don't like you as well and god now help you and the person, that the person you ate is loved by, by god, god. Yeah. Yeah, soup. <laughs> exactly so i think it's yeah, yeah. it's soup yeah, yeah. it's soup and yeah. of course lastly whatever you attack you cannot attract it mm. whatever you attack you cannot mm. attract it mm. so you know when people are celebrating 
I choose to respond by celebrating with them, not to react by pulling them down. Yeah, and of course, it's it's valid if you really want to be sure why you know before you celebrate with them. We of course we've mentioned this, you ask questions, and that's if and I'm sure it would only bother you if you have a relationship with the person, yeah. right? So just ask the person right. in a very you know nice way because I know that there's also this culture of when you ask questions, people want to believe that you are not happy, <laughs> right? Yeah, so, but yeah. of course, that there is. Um, a level of relationship that you must have built yeah, make sure. before you can yeah. ask questions and of course be nice in the way you are asking your questions mm -hmm. as well yeah don't let your first line of thought be that it's a fake sources or yeah. it's, uh, it's something that you have done by cutting corners yes, you know it shouldn't be, yeah. don't let that be your first line of thought mm -hmm. you know especially people around you that you know very well mm -hmm. and they, you know celebrate with them mm -hmm. and if you feel like there's something not adding up somewhere you know Ask questions politely, yeah. you know, politely, yeah. and if that success is truly a success, they should be able to share with you. Yes. you know? yes. Yeah. And if they ask a question when you are celebrating, don't be offended. <laughs> they just want to know yeah. if it's worth celebrating, celebrating with you or not. You know. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. be offended. Yeah, I know, because, okay, I know someone who just put a watch up, like, well, thank you, Jesus, or something. And then the person was like, okay, congratulations, but what are you selling? <laughs> That's true. Yes. <laughs> In fact, someone asked me that particular <laughs> question not too long ago. You know, I, I was celebrating something in my office and I put it on my status on WhatsApp. And the person said, congratulations. I'm not, I don't know the full story, but congratulations. congratulations yeah. And I explained the full story to that yeah, person. You know. Yeah. That, that's, you know, a good way of asking people, yeah. you know, things. You yeah. Know. And, you know, if it's truly a success, you won't be offended. Yeah. Yeah. Be offended. Yes, we want to believe you've learned one or two things uh, on this episode. And our series on what is success continues. And uh, please join us on this adventure. And uh, for those who are new, please click that subscribe button, <laughs> like our page and um, share yeah. it among your network and yes. we will appreciate that and bring on your comments. Yeah. We have been reading fantastic comments on how to make it better on things to talk about. Please keep them coming. Yeah. Alright, so we really appreciate you joining us and until we come your way again next time, we say bye. bye.